this lesson, you will be able to recognize the need for programming patterns with traversals as part of developing a functioning app. You'll be able to implement programming patterns with traversals to develop a functioning app, and you'll be able to write comments to clearly explain both the purpose and function of different segments of code within an app. You should also be able to use debugging skills as part of developing an app. Now, what are you going to be doing? Traversals Make is going to do a random forecaster. It's going to randomly pick a city, give you the high, the low, and the weather forecast. So how are you going to do this? Well, you're going to navigate to Lesson 12 on Level 2 in Code Studio. So at this time, log in to Code Studio or Code.org. Go to Unit 5, Lesson 12, Level 2. Now, you're going to click on Get Forecast. Click the button several times to see how the display changes. What happens? Can you tell? Okay. Well, now the prompts, things that you want to think about. What information is needed to create this app? What list filtering patterns might be used? Huh. Well, you're going to do this. You're going to make the random app, the random forecast app. The list filter pattern, filtering multiple lists. Here's how you do it. Remember, go back a couple of lessons and you have the pattern. It's all set up. You can also pause this video and look here. You can see how to filter multiple apps or multiple lists right over here, either from code.org or from the Canvas page. Access to APCSP U5 L12 Activity Guide for Traversals Make. It will help lead you through step by step and organize your thoughts as far as what variables you need, what lists you need, what processes you need to complete in order to create your app. Once you're done with your app, double check. Make sure that you've got input, that the on events are created for all the required inputs. Any kind of input, it's got it. Okay. Storage variables and lists, that they are created and appropriately used for all pieces of information. For the list processing, that you correctly process the lists. The code functions, a function is used which correctly updates all output elements. Okay, remember, you want to use functions, not just one great big program. The screen correctly displays the random city's forecast. So that's the output. The code runs without errors. There's no, it doesn't glitch, doesn't stop, doesn't crash. And finally, that you have comments in your code that tell me how something works, where you got something, what it does. Okay? Once you have all of this, then click Submit on Code.org. You're going to submit your code via code.org. I can then run through and try your programs and see how it's going. Okay? That's it. That's all you have. Now, you should not take more than about an hour to create this app, especially since you already have the screen created and such as that. Okay? So if you're taking more than an hour, stop, check with me. I can give you um, an example solution so that you can see how it would have been done, but it should not take more than an hour.